Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto, and today we're going to continue on with our beautiful series over here. Uh, where we're going to play a little bit of Block Brawler. So a new season started. Um, I did a little bit of PvE, so that happened. Um, I, I'm going to play a Monk this season. I'm going to go, definitely go into Protect first. And I would like to uh, just get this as soon as possible, right? So that we do a lot more damage and the dungeons will go faster for sure. You can see that we're missing uh, some books here. So we'll buy 19 Mobox. I'm going to write this down. Uh, uh, talent books. So spend 19.4. Uh, we're going to buy that. And then we're going to... Oh, we still don't have enough. I'm going to see or something. 150, so if I buy again, it is 24. So talent, talent books. So 24.25. Uh, Buying that. Still 150. So getting that done for sure. Uh, then in base, uh, just for now, I'm not, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to put in the books. So doing like that. And let's continue on with dungeons. Uh, the reason why is because um, I will most probably buy more books, right? Uh, but I would actually like to spend a little bit of time with, um, with Chain Z Arena. The beta edition. Um... We're going to get refunded, so I might as well just spend some time on Chain Arena and uh, spend some Mobox there and see what happens. Um, but yeah, this season we're going to play Monk. Last season we did not ROI when it comes to Mobox, but we did ROI when it came to uh, dollar values because of the mech. We, we got quite a bit of mech there. Uh, so I just want to tell you guys that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do the easiest part of the dungeon. It's going to take a while, so maybe... I'll just pause the video and see where we get stuck and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let's uh, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I've been playing roughly about about two hours or so. Um, one thing I want to mention to you guys is um, it is very profitable to do normal and high level sweeps now. Uh, they have definitely increased something that will... Um, it will make profitability a little bit higher, so just keep that in mind. Also, this season we're playing a monk. Uh, the reason being is because last season I played a um, a warrior, and it worked out perfectly good. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want to change up things and test some different builds and stuff. Uh, like I said, we did ROI last season. Um, uh, only if you count in the mech as well. If you, if you exclude the mech, we didn't ROI, but if you count the mech as well... Um, we're definitely are eyeing, so. But yeah, we'll see this season. I'm most probably just going to chill with the monk. Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. And like, um, yeah, you can just copy my build if you want to. This build is very, very strong versus uh, Butcher. Um, but yeah, I can't promise anything, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so far it's uh, pretty nice. Um, I'm just rocking... You know, leveling up every time I can and just uh, melting a little bit so that uh, I can get better gear and then try and implement it again because sometimes stuff changes. I'm not min-maxing right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not searching for specific gear uh, until later this season. Uh, also, I think I know exactly how to ROI uh, very easily between sweeps, selling gear, um... Uh, you know, and and building up gear for yourself, I think uh, I think it's the best way to ROI. So uh, I'm still figuring out for you guys like what is the best way to do it uh, with very little amount of investments. Uh, but you'll definitely need at least some hash power, uh, you know, for the for the sweeps to be profitable. Uh, the other thing as well is that to get some mining, uh, you need at least one family. So to make, I feel like to make uh, Block Brawler profitable, you need at least one family. 
uh, so that you get the gear, uh, so you can actually sell that as well. And to get to 445, uh, you don't have to invest anything. Uh, you just have to play a warrior or a monk and you'll be able to do it, you know. Um, and then you can just sell the gear that you're making. You can just sell that on the market and you should be able to make a profit at least. So I'm still working on these little stuff, uh, trying to figure out for you guys. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with Chain Z Arena for you guys. Uh, it's a little bit different on Chain Z because you keep your cards. On this game, you lose pretty much everything. You start from scratch. Uh, the only the only thing that you get is uh, some of your talent books you get back and uh, some of your um, intensifies. And I intensified quite a bit last season. So it will be very be very beneficial for me to upgrade my headpiece as soon as possible. So my intensify, you can see over here. My headpiece is 22. I can just intensify until it asks me to use Mobox. So that is a pretty good thing, right? Oh, insufficient melt. I was like, what the hell? It's not going up a level or something. <laughs> but yeah, um... We can actually end the episode here. If you guys have any questions, uh, just again, um, let me let me show you guys my sweep first before I end the video. Uh, but so far, like I think, if you really want to min max or uh, figure out how much money you make, uh, you have to have an Excel sheet like this. Uh, it's an Excel sheet that I use. Uh, so I did make. Last season, I did make quite a bit of uh, mech. Um, uh, you know, 450 mech. So I, I'm showing here talent books. Uh, this is um, what I spent Mobox on. So it will be in this in this pool right here. And then if, obviously, if I do PvP and PvE rewards, uh, it will add up here. I can just say 10 at each. You can see it adds up there subtracts the two numbers and then it uh, takes the mech and uh, the mech value right so it takes the mech value and then times it by the mech that you get uh, that shows the dollar value pretty much and over here it shows uh, all the dollars that you spent it's just this in dollar value and all the dollars you made uh, it's just this in dollar value and the mech so the mech and dollar value so it will it will just add up this number, uh, sorry, this number in dollar value, and then this number right here, and that will give the green one right here, and then the PNL, uh, sorry, PRL is uh, profit or loss, and you can see, pretty much that's where it is, you know. So, making a a simple Google sheet like this is very important, I feel. Um, if you wanna definitely know whether you're in a in a one or a loss, you know. It's important to know these things. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. We'll definitely be posting a lot more content when it comes to Mobox. Uh, I'm learning every day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Cheerios. Bye-bye.